I always think about the cognitive load to understand the code. If it's slow, it's <laughs> fine to be. And I actually, it's like this one, for instance, it uses get all broadcast messages, mm -hmm. which is just above. So yeah. I have a reference just above. If I want to understand how this works, it's just here. If it was yeah. in a different folder, in a different file, we would have to, you know, go to another context to understand and then come back and it's more more, more things that i have to store in my brain so i i this is again simplicity in my opinion yeah the, um, the fact that you mentioned cognitive load as a factor during uh during mm. coding session i absolutely love that like this is this is something that gets overlooked uh uh, so many times, yeah. and I and I don't think I have ever called it cognitive load, but I'm going to start using this term from now on because it's a, it's such a good framing of what you are actually doing, because you will yeah. get a fatigue when you are trying to either write the code or maintain it, debug something, add something new. This this has a cost yeah. on your brain, and you need to. You can design to optimize for your brain as well. So you don't have to only write dry yeah. code or the one that executes fast, but the one that's actually yeah. easy for your eyes and brain and, and everything. 